musical selection is by uh, Group One Crew, who we have uh, the, the guys and lady from Group One Crew uh, right now. We got Manuel and Blanca in the studio with us. How are you guys? Doing good. Chilling. I'm sorry I almost deafened you there. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I hit that little intro thing and Blanca's head almost exploded. You okay? Yes. I almost slammed my hand on this table and walked out. Don't do that, please. <laughs> we have many more questions to get to for you to walk out on. Uh, like, number one, uh, Pablo. What happened to Pablo? I had heard he was back, and then I uh, heard he's not. He's doing something else now, or what's the deal? Um, Pablo, we you know we set him down for like uh, six months so that he could um, work on some personal issues that he was needing to deal with. You know? Right. Um, as artists, we all any artist that's on the road knows there's there's a lot of pitfalls when it comes to to being an artist, and so um, he was experiencing one of those, and so he sat down for a little bit to to get it right, and then brought him back for almost a year. But, um, you know, some things are just, you know, harder to deal with when you're on the road. It just, oh, yeah. it just presents more challenges. So we we decided it was best for him, first and foremost, spiritually, and the fact that he just got married. It was just better for him to deal with what he had to deal with, with his wife, at home, in a, in a consistent environment that was more safe and accountable. Um, so it was just better for him as, a, as our friend and uh, also just for his spirit's sake, for him to stay home. And so we we let him go in September and just decided to continue to go. You doing as a duo there? Yep. Yeah. Yes. So it's it's group one two. Yeah. Now group yes. one two. Okay. Would you ever th- consider adding a, a, another person? I don't know, like a, a an older white guy <laughs> <laughs> with a goatee. <laughs> with a goatee, looks a little like me, got kind of a little pooch. Uh, who's not going to threaten you guys in the looks department or the talent department at all? I mean, I I, I, I could see this working. <laughs> we thought about it. We thought about adding another person for a while, and then just decided. I mean, we've been together for so many years. It's been like eight or nine years now Mm -hmm. and you just become family and you know so accountable to each other and you know everything and it's like it's a little scary sometimes bringing someone else in the picture yeah you just don't know what you're gonna get yeah that's right now we know what we're gonna get you know we kind of have a family between her i and her husband and um, anything that we bring into that is just it's just a lot easier to control. And yeah, you know what I'm saying so we well, feel good the way we're at. We're, we're at talking it. to uh, Manuel and Blanca from Group One Crew, and you mentioned uh, her husband, uh, which is is cool because you yourself have just gotten married as mm-hmm. well recently. And so yeah. I want to talk about a little bit of that uh, with the uh, guys and lady from Group One Crew, and we'll do that in ten right here on the Wally Show. See, I could do this, actually. <laughs> uh, it's the Wally Show. We got uh, Blanca and Manuel from Group One Crew uh, live in studio with us today. That wasn't too bad. Bicka, 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 rock the rock, rock. Okay. Yeah. You love that song, don't you? I do. It's one of my favorites from you guys, actually. <laughs> Every time we come, he always plays that one. And, one. and I'm still looking forward to some new music, too, which we will get to uh, here shortly. But uh, now, uh, Blanca, how long have you been married? I've been married two years. January 16th was our two-year anniversary. Oh, that's not a long time. Okay, that's good. That's a pretty long time. Well, no, uh, in celebrity. <laughs> in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Like uh, but, uh, like, it, but No, no it's really still... new, yeah. I feel yeah. like I just got married a few months ago. I, time goes by so fast. Yeah. Did you have crazy. a big wedding? There was like 200 people. That's a good-sized wedding. Good size. Not over the top, but not too small. Yeah. Now, uh, Manuel, you just recently got married. A few like nine months ago, something. Like that? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Eight months. Nine months. Eight months. Well, you better know that. June eleventh. Yeah. Whatever. You better know that. We you count. better get that down, my friend, because they're, they're for the first year of your marriage, there are quizzes <laughs> that you don't see coming. No and... way. My wife's the worst. She oh, don't really? remember any of it. I was keeping track of the monthly anniversary, so every month on the eleventh, I'd be like, "Happy anniversary," and she would forget. Oh, that's awesome. You're the so girl. I just, I just You're the girl in the relationship. I'm completely the girl. <laughs> that is awesome. I am. Your wife has actually uh, got her own notoriety. Uh, she was on like Mad TV and mm-hmm. does stand up and stuff. Like that, she was the girl that did uh, Bon Quiqui. Yeah, which is funny as all get out. Like yeah. I like that's one of those things that got quoted by so uh, many people. Yeah. Well, I will cut you. <laughs> yeah, and, like do you guys like? Does she ever do like that character kind of thing? Like when you guys are messing around like at home and like uh, like play with you with that? No, she. I mean, she has her own little personal characters that nobody gets to see but me. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah she she with, with Bon Quiqui is a is an interesting person. We actually just brought her back to life. Uh, um, we come. Combined the two worlds, and we're doing a, a record now for Bunk Week. We no yeah, gangster rap. Oh, yeah. that's too funny, you man. Go follow her at the at Real Bunk Week. And um, yeah, man, go to her YouTube channel, and you'll see the 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 video. Um, 
teaser. Oh, that's you know. funny. It's I can't, and so you did the music for it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Don't it. interrupt. <laughs> 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 that is awesome. Ah, no, sir, don't be loud with me, sir. Do not get loud with me. Oh, no. Sir, <laughs> Curry. Sir, <laughs> Curry. This dude needs to go. I find it so funny because yeah. getting to know her and meeting her through, through Manuel, there is a little bit of Angela Johnson that has that little... She has that little twist. bit. Of, she yeah. goes in and out of characters that she does. Yeah, that's like, funny. In that's just funny. real life. So, oh really? That's kind of mm-hmm. funny though. So now we're talking uh, uh, to uh, Manuel and Blanca from Group One Crew. So with him being a newbie, getting married, Blanca, did you give him any advice? I mean, every now and then uh, we talk. We have our serious moments where mm-hmm. I'm able able to give advice, but I'm I'm still learning. It's a process for me as well. Blanca so. helps me more because I, I have such a strong personality and even she's dealt with me longer than my wife has dealt with me. Right. So I have a strong personality. I have very strong opinions and I'm, you know, I'm, I just, I'm hard like that. And, and when I tell her stuff about my wife and I'm like, oh, she's being like this, Blanca always kind of reminds me like, yeah, but you're like this. So you right. Gotta, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, maybe you're going to have to like ease up on who, like the type of person that you are and come up to a compromise, which is what I'm learning. I'm learning like, man, you know, like I have ways of doing things and I think they're right. Well, and so, you know so what that is though. Wait, let me stop you for a minute, Blanca, because uh, you're right, because you're the man in that relationship, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Blanca, <laughs> her eyes just got about this uh-huh. big. <laughs> uh-uh, I will cut you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, compromise is the key. Like, I'm telling you, man, like, I've got 19, uh, almost 20 years uh, married, and it's like uh, compromise and like putting the other person first. If you guys are both doing that, your odds at having a happy, successful marriage dramatically go up you know yeah, so that's like, like there's my just advice things that you just don't like things don't need to go always your way like i'm it's like when i pack to go like i'm i'm a minimalist now like yeah. i'm just like yo yeah, carry on that's all i need and she'll bring this huge you know 60 pound to me it's always 60 pounds like <laughs> over <laughs> it always cost you another always. 75 no months. she's like i fly first class so i don't need to do it whatever i'm like oh okay i'm sorry but I she bet just, because you're probably still flying coach still and that still. has to stay so it's funny when we go out together she's like <laughs> She, I'm like, babe, I found these great ticket prices, you know, 200 bucks. She's like, uh, no. We don't, <laughs> we don't ride in coach. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's awesome. So our marriage is hilarious. Oh, that is awesome. Hey, we got uh, Manuel and Blanca from Group One Crew on the show. And I want to talk about uh, your new song here, and we'll do that in 10 minutes, right here on The Wally Show. show and uh today we're giving you uh access is what i used to say when i hosted total access but that's done now uh but uh, old habits die hard uh it's the wally show now and today uh we have blanca and manuel from group one crew on the show with us now you guys uh are you working on a new album or is it is it completely done we're working on it right now okay yes. yep we've we- been in the studio in and out of the studio we're on winter jam 2012 right now and so that's the first three months of the year and we've just been Working hard on it, and every time we get a a break off, we are in the studio here in Nashville or back in Orlando just working on new music. And Yep, so by the end of the tour, we'll be done with the record. Oh, that's good. I'm looking forward to it, uh, because we have one uh, new song that I... I don't know if I'm speaking out of school or not, but there's a good chance we're going to start playing. Mm-hmm. So that's good news uh, for y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you might get to uh, uh, upgrade and stop riding in coach and actually fly in first class with yeah. your wife, Manuel. <laughs> we're hoping, man. This, this, I mean, the He Said song, I mean, we're, we're trying new formats. We figured, you know, our records, if anybody's a Group One Crew fan, you know, our records are kind of divvied up. You know, you got your your songs that are danceable, up, you know, up energy and just, you know, different, different. Definitely, like, I guess more mainstream style of a song. And then you got your vertical songs that are more um, blatant, uh, all of them with the Spirit of God. But we, we felt like, all right, if we're going to make blatant Jesus music, then let's go for the gold. You know, let's go for just the AC radio and give them something. Because we've never really done that. We've always kind of just done our lane. But we feel like, man, the AC reach is so big. And we've always promised ourselves to never, never limit ourselves or just make music for certain people. Like, we want to make music for everyone. We want everyone to be ministered to and... It's just a goal of ours. So we're like, you know what? Let's just start making 
AC Radio songs. Manny so, will stop rapping and start oh, singing. Oh, really? Okay, well, see, the thing is, you can do both, which is good. And Blanca is just ridiculously uh, talented as a singer, mm-hmm. too. So Thank you. that's uh, like a good thing. It's a good thing to be able to have those diverse uh, skill sets. So you've then created a song that sounds as good in a minivan as it does in a cube. Yep. So, okay, that's good. That's yeah. very good. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be exciting for what people think, man, because it's... it's it's a whole new side of us, you know, like I've never just done all singing before. And then it's just, it's fun. And then there's so, certain songs where I'm not singing at all. You know, I just kind of play the background. I'll mm-hmm. do a, a lower harmony or just nothing at all. But we're we're at the point now in our, in our ministry where it doesn't really matter. Like before it was a, an identity thing, but now it's just like, who cares? You know, like if, if, if the best chance to reaching more people would be Blanca singing a song doing Blanca, then I'm like, I don't care. Let's right. do it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's but just. But there, I feel like it's a good mix. It's just been a a transition for us in this past year, and I think we do have bigger dreams that we're realizing. And there's things that I want to speak my heart, you know, on, and there's things that Manny wants to speak on. So on this next record, I feel like it's really showcasing some of those um, things that God has been speaking to us, whether it's through me in a song or if it's through Manny and just a straight hip hop like nasty beat where he's getting to show you know showcase himself how do you guys settle that too because there's only so much real estate on an album and you're like this is really on my heart from god and then manny goes well this is really on my heart from god Uh (laughs) uh-oh you know how do you you work that out it's really honestly never been (laughs) that difficult like it's just nah yeah it's it's you know i told blanca recently because she expressed that she wanted to do songs from her heart and i'm like yeah let's do it you know like you you know take a couple of songs and I'll take a couple of songs, but it it's it's almost ended up us still being together. Like we've been able to make it so that we both do something on one of the songs. You know okay. what I'm saying? So it's 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 never that kind of a I want more songs. You know what I'm saying? Because right. it's just I don't I don't. If I want a solo record, I would be a solo artist. I don't want a solo record. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we found we found a happy medium, and it's it's gonna be good, man. Like we're pumped. Like it's only getting better. And it's only getting easier to just, like, express. You know what I'm saying? So right. I'm excited about it. We're talking to uh, Manuel and Blanca from Group One Crew. Now, whose heart uh, was this new song that we're going to play? Like, who? where did this one come from? <laughs> who, who did this one come from? This one, he said, he said was actually, um, we knew we wanted to kind of go in the AC market and, and just put our brains there. So we worked with David Garcia and Ben Glover, which are amazing producer and songwriter. And um, just started throwing around ideas and it just came up. But it's crazy how now listening to the song, you know, fully done, like how much it's spoken into my life. I don't know about Manny, but speaking for myself and and how on point it's been with things that I've gone through, like recently losing my father in November and, and hearing songs like he said. And I'm like, man, we we wrote this song all together, not knowing that a few months later it's going to be exactly what I needed to hear for myself. So um, I think God just kind of worked that all together. Yeah, that's the thing. Like with music, a lot of times everyone thinks you're writing songs for everybody else, but sometimes they become intensely personal, like with the loss of your father. And like you said, that this song actually became something that you guys created, but it still spoke back to you Mm -hmm. as well. So that's got to be one of those moments when you guys uh, do this one live. Is that, is that hard for you? Uh, I think it it will be at times. Yeah. Um, I've never experienced this before, so I think um, if I ever was to speak about it or make that connection within song and, and things that I've gone through, it would definitely be an emotional thing. Well, why don't we do this? Let's play it. This is uh, new music from Group One Crew, and uh, you actually have uh, Chris August on this, right? Yes, sir. We had Chris come in on a day off, and he um, was... Lovely enough to bless us with the the smooth vocals that he has, and um, mm. just drop the second verse on this on this record. So. I love that guy. He's kind of an odd duck, and I say that he's as a compliment. Amazing, but man, that guy can sing too. We love so. him. Amazing. He's, I'm, our, I'm so he's our brother from another mother. Yeah, he's in a, his <laughs> next record is going to be so good. I'm so I'm so excited to hear it. Well, let's check it out. It is uh, Group One Crew along with uh, Chris August featuring, I guess we could say, Chris August, uh, and the song is called "He Said" on the Wally Show.